The periodic table, democracy, and sources of energy class 10 students will no longer learn about these from their government issue textbooks. The government has recently faced criticism for removing several chapters from the class 10 curriculum, including topics such as the periodic table, democracy, and sources of energy. These deletions are part of a rationalization effort aimed at reducing the burden on students. The National Council of Educational Research and Training cited reasons such as difficulty level, overlapping content, and irrelevance in the present context for dropping these chapters. While the chapters have been removed from the Class 10 textbooks, students can still learn about these subjects if they choose to study them in Class 11 and 12. The periodic table, for instance, will only be taught to students who opt for chemistry in their final two years of education. However, this means that many students may not have exposure to these important topics unless they pursue further studies in the relevant subjects. The removal of the theory of evolution from the Class 10 curriculum earlier this year had already raised concerns, with scientists and educators expressing their dismay through an open letter. The government, however, dismissed the criticism as propaganda and stated that students can find information about Darwin's theory on various websites. They also pointed out that the theory is already included in the Class 12 syllabus. Critics argue that these deletions limit students' access to crucial knowledge and undermine the holistic development of their understanding. The periodic table, for example, is regarded as a significant achievement in chemistry and plays a fundamental role in explaining the properties of substances. Similarly, democracy and environmental sustainability are vital topics that foster civic engagement and promote a sustainable future. The impact of these curriculum changes on students' overall education and scientific literacy remains a subject of debate. While reducing the curriculum load may be a valid concern, Many argue that it should not come at the expense of essential knowledge and concepts that contribute to a well-rounded education. For more such news and updates subscribe to our YouTube channel.